and FaZe still have some sort of presence there as I say it. Attach and Zuma do die, but it's a one point game. It's yeah, a one damage point game. is done. Oh, oh Clayton's gonna find three. Go for the fourth. He's gonna delete I'm Black done. off the map. I'm done. Face should take the lead right here. Clayster just said one clip is all I need. 30 seconds left on this half wall hard point. Yeah, FaZe just racking up time. And this is what really, I mean, Elevate's a fantastic team, right? They place like top four in all our North American lands. The one downfall for this team, though, is when they get locked in a game mode like this, like Spawn Trapped, it's like they don't have anyone other than Aqua who can really make like an explosive play, or who can make explosive plays consistently to get them out of those situations. Well, look at this, Matt. Clay pulls out the Tempest. You think maybe he'd save it for Bunker. He pulls out a little bit earlier here, and he's getting the shots. Oh, there he's getting pushed from two. Still able to stay alive. He's only 25 off of that dart. There's the shot. Rips the head off. Now the server is oh! surely. There's Big John. Gets a 25 off. Thought he had it, but needs 25 more. Managing to stay alive. Now going to be pulling out the Man of War, and there it is. Fully streaked out. One more coming through River. One out front. Finding all the kills. Nine in a row. <laughs> Ten in a row. Clay on a tear. Clay absolutely going off. Okay, maybe. Oh, heat wave. Heat wave. He has heat wave. This is possible now. Please, please, my heart. My heart. One, I can't three. handle this. Parasite. Parasite doesn't spot him. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't know if they have any idea what's going on. It's going to be close now. On the other oh my the God! Tries again. Down he goes. Quicker now in a one versus three. This is your time to shine. You've been shining on the first map. If he can make that 1v3 happen, that would oh, be absolutely massive. Get Let's find the first one in the second. second. Well. Has he it made the oh, oh my god! <laughs> Quicker pulls off a perfect 1 versus 3 to rip that round away from Splice. And we will see it again in the final kill cam. Sees 1, sees 2. Hello to the heat wave and takes him down with a melee to the sole of the foot. Yeah. In a four on four scenario, Formal still trying to see what he can possibly spot middle map. Parasite yeah, right to his sight. Yep, here he goes. Formal reads him like a book. First blood optic Ooh. gaming. Oh. Second blood optic gaming. This guy just doesn't miss. Oh, the guy, he's <laughs> hungry. He's hungry for more. As they know where both players now are. So, Formal this was looking for a, a potential setup at sniper optic. ace. Oh, gosh, please, Mox, just do it for your own sake. Oh, just don't, uh -oh, just don't, don't go in there. Just don't, don't, don't even, don't, Mox, don't do it, please. Oh, okay. Oh. Formal does miss that one. Still a challenge coming in. Oh, Get the no. third for the ace. Take it off oh. for oh, Scuff. You're a bad boy. <laughs> Don't be a bad boy. Scuff's gonna charge now, in. Yeah. Head at a cop. Here it There's is. one. Second comes oh. in. Heat wave is the counter. Lama cuts him down. Karma one v two. Not again. Sees one. Cuts him down. Oh, no. One versus one. This is for everything. Another one v three opportunity for Karma. Twenty eight seconds left. Mox does have active camo. He's gonna blind pop it, and you hate this type of play. Oh. And he gives him his position. Oh, talk about panicking on the main stage. 1v1, Karma, Mox, everything on the line. Karma hands. peeks out! Oh he gets my the God. kill! Not gonna get the job done. Unable, 1v3. Silver lining, he's got the objective. But he's got the time, the numbers, as well as the positioning against them. Okay, so maybe you're letting Classic build his meter here. We'll find one. Takes down I don't know Slack. What Slack is doing there? And now this is doable. Well, I, I don't know what Slack is doing right there. He was caught out of position away from the rest of his teammates. Enable should be able to get the objective down. Let's we'll see how he plays his post plan positioning now. He, I mean, now in this spot, he can definitely still get this done. He's got an EMP to check as well. 40 seconds remaining. Yes, he does have to cut some corners on what he normally would kind of peek and look around, but for the most part, this is definitely still doable. I, I like his movement so far. You can so see far. through the, through the x-ray exactly oh, this, where this Rhyzation are. This is going to be perfect from Nabal. He's coming up right behind these players. He's going to find one. Takes out Classic. Oh, the glitch from Octane is going right behind him. And Nabal stayed alive. Both players are about to meet up. Good movement so far from Nabal as he's just no milking way. time off the clock. No way. That 14 seconds That's going to do it. I don't think he has time to get the bomb. There's he no way. The there's no way he's got time. No way. No. Uh -uh. This is going to do it. Let's see as John starts to inch forward. If you blow up the minimap, you can show that you know, inside of mansions where all the defense is going to be set up. They're going to give up the B bomb site. It does not matter though. John destroys two players inside of mansion, giving Envy the edge. Well, this seems a whole heck of a lot like the opening to the hard point. John going off. I, I was going to say, he peaks Lambo though. You know he's going to gun somebody, but all of a sudden it's a 2v2. John now working on the ace in our first round here. He's going to get the plant as well. If he can get the plant plus the ace here, he's going to basically have overdrive. <laughs> It'd be so close to working towards that door. But now they're pushing out the back and run into him. He's got the third, maybe able to find it. Give me the ace, baby. There it is for John. 
Now going to be a big close. Wiley comes in as well. Complexity, they've left it late, but have they left it too late? We're about to find out as Aches once again has to clutch. He sees one. It's active camo. He's active camo. He's right away through, and he's going to be able to get it as well. Patrick Price has managed to get that one with a fantastic camo play. What a ridiculous game from him as Paddy P lets him know. I'm telling you right now, he made two kills, but that, my friend, is a 1v4. Aches there played it so, so smartly. Picks up the first one, a cheeky little wing for the camera. He knows. Get a shot on, that looks to be the call. So he's gonna peek, it looks like they're playing just behind the site a little bit here, but the smoke is out to assist. Nagafin and crew were coming across mid-map, and they might get caught, they might get caught from behind, and up there through the smoke is one. Looking for a second with the oh! There's both third, fourth, in water, maybe the ace is coming oh in. Lord, There's three, it. Naga, we're coming, pull the snipe back out, That's get the I big stick, and let's go for it. <laughs> Formal. Please, why do you have to be so good? Five and one. He has the support of Karma, of course. Nagafen, the last man alive. And as you see, he has put away that sniper rifle, so maybe he puts himself in a good position to clutch this, but really, Formal with so much momentum. Three oh. this round, looking for that ace. Well, he's at Nagafen is actually checking over at the A bomb well. side, thinking that they would actually rotate all the way through the cave. Oh, but ace. Optic stops right there. They get the bomb down over in cave, and Formal looking to pick this one up to get the ace. This should be it. You see the peak. Here's the challenge. There's the oh, ace there for Optic Formal. You see the smile. He's feeling good. And you know why? He is likely the best SD player on this roster because of plays like that. I mean, he picks up one with the sniper rifle. He peeks again. He finds a second. Instantly turns, pulls out the pistol, gets the third. It plays from Reedy. And for some reason, I'm talking about cheese on an XP stream. Not sure how I've managed to do that. Still, killer. One versus three. Does have the bomb, so life is a little better. But still, that is just a minor benefit. And what on earth is going on here? The backs are turned. How has this happened? Killers managed to make it a 1v2. Where are they going? Just cut the better of the time. Both players could have gotten caught there. Killer now trying to pull off this one versus three situation. Still just roaming around the same side of the map he's been on the entire time. Has the bomb. 25 seconds left. He's not. And trying to catch some players on the timing here. Looks like the buddy system going down for the side of Epsilon. Oh my god. And Killer may be able to catch these players on the side of the L wall, but no, able to catch the player. Does turn on the player at L wall, though. Has plenty of time to plant it. Oh my get god. The plant down as well. Not sure if you're going to be able to go for it. Looks like this he's has to be try checked. and get it down as fast as possible. Going to switch back on board to Sunny B. And no, he doesn't peek around the wall. Killer gets out. He's trying to this chase. Happen. And Killer. Oh! And he gets a gun by win. And the one versus three, the last boss. It's champs, baby. 20 seconds on the clock. He doesn't plant. He laughs at the, the premise of planting. He relocates, catches one on L wall. That was Epsilon's round to lose, and they throw it away. For another start. Raider is going to get a kill there. Scum picks up two. They're coming around oh, the back. Scumby with a three. And he shuts down a splice in one foul move. He's trying to get Cyprus that. Is out. He's trying to. He hasn't managed to. Wow, wow, wow. It just shows how well, if you communicate and pinch together, look at this scoreline. You know, more than anything, I think Spice oh. is going to be going to Oh! 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 Crim6 finds one, and he somehow is still alive! Great plays. Crim still challenging. Tower site has him in his sights. Crim6 with two. Now looking for a third gifted and as well! Crim for all four! How does he oh do it? Oh my god! How is that possible? That is game five, Crim, at his finest right there. I've played against it. That is something that you he do not smiled. want to happen. Crim6 smile! Yes, for the first time ever. Remote this down. What's today's date? Today's date. Uh, how, 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 how did that just happen? Looney coming in the back. Is this the break they need? He's got Heat Wave. It's Heat Wave on Heat Wave. He's able to win it. Still trying to hold on, but now it's Mad Cat with the Tempest. A couple shots here, and this could be over. One more wave of pushes. It all comes down to these next few kills, and Mad Cat is possessed. Takes five with a La Tempest. Just lines them up and knocks them down. Puts a bullet into the back of Jerd just for giggles. And now Millennium surely have picked this one up. They had a couple of chances, Rise Nation. I don't even know how this game isn't over yet at this point. They're keeping it contested. He's even got a Cerberus oh, if he needs Lord. it. But Mad Cat lives up to his name. He is mad. He is insane. And Millennium will find 250. Offense. They don't want to, they're not playing for a first pick. In well, you saw the two map. come out from yeah, th the other side. That was because Luminosity were playing around a pick middle map. Now FaZe playing for a mansion push. Study gets first blood. Challenge oh, coming in. Lord. Study hits two headshots in a row. LG back to another number advantage, a tough gunfight win for Enable there. 
I feel like I have to go back to study because he's working on the ace here. Oh There's one. Gosh. Let's see if he can find the fourth. He's 4-0. Oh. Give me the ace, baby. There it is. Study. Study. Study is my MVP of the match right now for Luminosity. I checked Twitter. I checked Reddit. Everyone was talking about his CTF performance. Now he's looking to one-up that here in game five, not using fast hands as well on this weapon. He's wearing his very own pair. They, I think they basically told Miracles to come in and do his thing, and the other three were going to play around him. And that's kind of a nice thing when you have someone to come in, come in and can play the objective. It's like, okay, that yeah, makes sure. it easy. This You're telling me I have to shoot my gun at people more? All right, I'm down. I'm down. Get the hard point. I'll cover you. This works. And it is working. I mean, look at this. This is just growing exponentially, closing in on 160 now as the contest does come in. But immediately, Jordan and Tommy, the deadly SMG duo, are just laughing in the face of, Clack, of Slacked and Classic. I was about to call them Clacked. Doesn't really work. <laughs> 50 Tommy, away from the Hellstorm. Tommy's now fully streaked out. Eight in a row. The camo gets popped. Give me number nine. Turns for number ten as he is lighting it up. Tommy, the veteran, doing it all. Let's see if he can keep it going. Too easy for Tommy looking for number 11. He's done so much already. He evades the nade. And now continues to find himself a little bit of a safe haven. It's time to invest those streaks, trying to make that number even bigger. Double digits for him. Madness. As he's going to throw out the lightning strike, and it does find one. Classic down and out, forced to watch from the sidelines for a short period of time. And this looks like another. Look at him, he's just lining them up, and there's so much pressure. You know how I said, don't Jeez. get ahead of yourself, Maven? It's 200 to 78. Gets met by the Millennium oh, Aggression. Yeah, yeah. Nice work from Tommy, though, taking the toes of Dave off. He's going to find a second wharf. Only in Millennium do the players hit shots like that every single day. Now another one he needs to hit. It's not going to be easy, there's two of them. This is going to be the end. Oh, oh. glitch! Tommy, this is beautiful stuff. Oh, my God! Oh, man! One of the plays of the league, and it's only... It's going to be Teep with the bomb, as per the usual. Yeah. We're envy. All right, well, what do you expect to see out of these guys early? Obviously, BBB has been the focus here. You uh, see Sharp going to get the first B pick. It's every time for successful offensive teams, and you see... No, nope, like you said, Slasher's going to drop first at the hands of Sharp. So good start for TK. Going to try and answer back is Envy, and it's not going to happen. Two more players go down. This could be a very fast round. TP, the last one alive. And I feel like <laughs> whether it's been Ghost, Advanced Warfare, we see so many times TP, last one alive, only one alive with the bomb in his hand. He's able to get two, though. Taking a route kind of unconventional, going right up the middle of the map, catching Goonjar off guard. Where does he elect to go now? Let's see if he can do it. He's got plenty of time to work with that. Oh, There's yeah. 40 seconds on the clock. He's picked up two players. Props to the defense of TK early. They won the fight at middle. Oh, oh. for a second there. Oh. Risky business to a degree. Yeah, Thought he... for a second there, I didn't think that was going to work. Here he gets forward. He saw him. Remember, he does have that inmate to challenge if he wants to. Oh, a second late for maybe picking it up. He says, screw it. I want to push. He's going to get aggressive. He sees him go up top. There's one more to deal with. Oh, he wins my. that gunfight. 1v1, 20 seconds left. Can TP do it? Pick up all four players in the one four need. Oh! TP! Oh, what wow. game four at the start of the game? Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable play right there. How do you respond from that your TK? Like, this was oh. incredible stuff from TP. And I said, you know, he picked up the inmate. It could Oof. be a factor, and there he gets that final kill with... But Infuse, they are having to work so damn hard for control. I love it. Good stuff from Lethal. Yeah, if Lethal was able to set up a little bit more proper on these hills, uh, they should be able to get a lead in this one. Man, oh man, this game is much closer than we had anticipated. Lethal Gaming are really making Infused sweat. A VMP ban did kind of dictate how this game was going to go. The lay of the land was clear, and we've seen everything from under the sun. We've seen Pharaohs, we've seen a Weevil, we've even seen, uh, what else have we seen Cropper? We saw a Razorback ban for some unknown reason. It's been a wild ride so far, T, but 140 to 172, Streaks. and they've got, they're starting to look like they could very well seize the lead. Unbelievable stuff, and this is a do or die series for Infused at this point. They lost a series versus TK. The winner of this one could pro is most likely Second. should get Get second in the group so this is absolutely huge the fact that lethal is able to answer back these streaks need to come down soon the purifier oh. coming out oh. able to pick up two can he get the third yes i think he is busy with the three has full streaks he's about to overlap almost getting another dart he's taking over at this one almost at 40 39 and 26 and i i don't know how they're not able to get a lot of this time still but he has these specialist weapons to work with should be able to clean up these players at the middle room oh able my to pick god up one he stays alive he should be able to pick up another one it's Pushing just back to his gun. Easy for He's killing them all. He's killing them all. 42 oh my God. and 26. He's overlapped his streaks. He gets another one. The lead changes in the lethal's favor. What is happening, Machine?
Breezy is quite literally on fire. He had his purifier and he just lays down the law. 14 kill streak will be taken away from him by zero. But Crim6 is going to have the Kuda. Crim6 trying to go huge for his squad. Is he going to oh! be able to get the kill? Yes, he is. Crim6, Crim6 with the ace. Bow down to the Crim6. The robot is oh, back. Oh, man. Awesome play out of Crim6. Keeping his team in this game. Great, great plays out of him. Still behind the site. Takes on spacing. Nice shot. Trade is... Oh, he comes in the way, DK Drizzt. He makes it. 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 He makes that is exactly how you choke. Has that kinetic armor, we talked about it, was gone the first game, back in here the second game. This is the specialist that he likes to play. He's able to get up near the opponents, force those 2v1 gun battles that we've seen Scum win numerous times. All right, well, they are getting aggressive early. There's going to be player in the back there. They should have eyes on him, but are they just going to try and push potentially forward and get a quick plant? They're trying to get control of Bricks here, but that's going to be a grenade coming in. Going to be able to take out Karma. They're going to be down one player early. Yeah, and Optic trying to get this bomb down over at B. You see Scump looking over towards that fence side. Formal's got a player flanking here. Let's see if he's able to pick him up, but it's going to be Pac-Man with a nice route. He's going to catch Formal off guard, going to be able to finish him off. It's going to be a 4v2, make it a 4v1. Scump the only one alive for Optic, and they were so good in search and destroy at Totinos. No, if they don't replicate that again this weekend, they could yeah. be in trouble. Yeah, they, uh, they they were great. They were winning their gunfights. They were doing a really good job. They didn't have any crazy strategies. They were just taking okay. it to them, and there's two so, kills. 1v2. Can Skump do it? He's got 30 seconds on the clock. I think he's going to opt it. Yeah, he's going to turn around go the other way. Is he going to be able to oh, oh, win? He wins it. <laughs> so we're going to have a 1v1. It. We're going to have Skump going up against Pac-Man here in a 1v1. Could it be a 4v1 for Skump? This would be unreal. He's got to try and get it down. Let's get eyes on here. As you can see, Pac-Man, he's scared to check it. He know he has a sub. Oh. An A comes in. He's able to back away. He has the HC card too. He's going to decide to use it. He brings it out. Can he pick up Pac-Man? The 1v4 in the first round. Is he able to do it? It's gone. He's solid. Not going to be able to get it through. Yeah, but Scum gets an idea of where yep, Pac-Man is at this point in time. So he gains that information. Pac-Man throws that perfect grenade. The grenade was placed perfectly by Pac-Man onto the B site. Just wasn't enough to finish him. And Scum. There it is! is! And Scum with a Woo! one v four round number one, Maven. Unreal. That was Unreal. absolutely unbelievable. John, one versus four, now a one on three. They're beautifully baiting themselves, but instead, he does make it a 1v2. Oh, and if he wins one more engagement, he earns himself heat wave. He's gonna peek up high, there's the kill. He with about to be earned, John. He's got a lot of the time one left. Versus too. four. He's got to know exactly where legal is as well. He's got to have an idea of how, how how this is being played. John might wrap this one perfectly. Does he check the right area of the map, John, for the one versus four? He gets vision of the player. John clutches a one on four versus <laughs> H2K. And when I how think do you give it H2K up? are gonna come back, they say, uh, hey guys, let's all hold hands, stand in front of each uh, other, and see if John can clutch. Not able to take out Scum, but Aqua inside of the hard plane with the Man of War, and he's the one I think who can make the biggest difference in this series. He plays well, he can take over games. Well, Aqua trying to go big here, him and Felony combined for four in a row. You see the HC flying and gets tagged up. Doesn't matter, Felony there to cover, and they are both going off. Three in a row for Aqua. Felony now up to five. Let's take a look at his POV as he's going to hop out the HC. Look to cut off angles here as the flood will begin to come in for Optic Gaming. Sorry, pal. Comes around the back. Does have Black Jacket, but Felony still going off. Fully streaked out now looking to do more damage. He's on a six, six streak right now. Over a minute in the hill. These streaks will come in handy. I want to see him save them for this third hard point on the rotation, but still going off in the hill. Oh, oh, is it the, the laser? Is it the laser? The EU <laughs> team's going off with it. And now you see Felony making an impact, a nine streak. Kinetic's in. He's about to get the HC yet again. This is impressive stuff. And he's stuff. the one player in this match who is like unproven. No experience in a match of this caliber. And he's going off here in this first hard point. It's one of his first tests. Now we see Elevate wrapping around the back. Kinetic here. Popping comes, yeah. Kinetic. Is he going to go in and pop the first kill? Yes, he does. Heat wave to counter, though. Aqua and Nagafu and Heaven. How is he still alive? He picks up the last.
Oh, oh one Krim. great plays from Fellow. Oh, Krim picks up one before that, but you see the turn and burn coming out for Felony. The streak's at 11. He makes it 12. This is insane stuff. The youngster proving he can hang with the best. How many I We have never seen a streak like this against Optic ever. I'm convinced. I do not have any stats in front of me to prove that. What, but what 13. He's 28 and 12 with a minute and 47 in the hill. An unreal game here. Uh, he, He's still he, going. He hasn't lost oh a go for Felony, stop it. 30 and 12, 15, 15 streak. Carrying the side of Elevate. And here come the streaks, baby. Up, oh. This is absolutely insane.